British Volt is proud to be here in Abu Dhabi supporting the Electric Vehicle Innovation Summit in its first year. We're also proud to be supporting the region's general ambitions for carbon neutrality in 2050. Now, it's an obvious thing when you look at all that wonderful sunshine out there and all that potential for solar energy, you're going to need somewhere to store that energy, batteries. For a region like this, so completely dependent on a hydrocarbon economy that's been going on for decades, this is a significant shift in behavior. The UAE has been cutting carbon for decades and investing in clean energy projects. Mazdar City, the world's most sustainable development, is creating new technologies to lower energy consumption and increase the use of renewables. Abu Dhabi is also home to the world's biggest single-site solar farm. Now here's the thing with static energy storage in a region like this, it can help lessen the use of those diesel generators in hydrocarbon operations that nobody really wants. They can help with desalination, they can have remote power grids in the desert. They can help with EV charging hubs and all this energy from the sun is free and looking further forward. They can even power businesses, towns and cities. They really are the future. And on the British Vault stand we have a hybrid Ferrari, the SF90, 1,000 brake horsepower, and there's also an AR program that allows you to see inside the car the electric motor at the front and the hybrid battery at the back. We've also got a Lotus Ebora, British Volt is supplying batteries for their high-performance future supercars. We saw really strong levels of engagement in all things battery, electric and sustainability. supply chain, rather than running away from it, you run towards it and you try to fix it fundamentally because it's not a switch, it's a transition and whatever we do today, it must be sustainable long term. We can't go from fossil fuels to lithium ion batteries in one day. However, if you do want to save the world, we have to start today. If you want to wait for solid state batteries and start saving the world in 10 years time, it's going to be too late. In the UK as an example, in March of this year there were more electric vehicles registered in one month than there was in the whole of 2019. So a significant uptick. So here we are where for decades oil has been absolutely everything and cheap domestic fuel petrol has been a given. But downstairs are major motor manufacturers with electric cars, big 350 kilowatt electric car chargers and even a guy who's converted a Volkswagen Beetle to run on batteries. There is a company here that is making electric cars in the UAE. So, if here is changing like this, if there is this appetite for decarbonisation and electrification in Abu Dhabi and the UAE, that the world really is changing much faster than we thought possible.